Concerns are rising in Madison County about conditions at the local animal shelter. Some people are also worried about inconsistencies they claim to have found in its record keeping and are demanding answers from government officials. Madison County's most recent fiscal court meeting, several people came forward with questions about the level of care abused animals get in the area. Some people say they've witnessed dogs dying due to lack of support, saying there's often no one available to turn to for help. No response until I called the police department. And then they came and spoke to them. And nothing was done. The puppy's still there. The mom's tied on a cable that's about this long. And I'm just not, as a citizen, not sure what to do to get this resolved. Erica Coffey and other animal advocates say the community needs a better partnership between its law enforcement and animal control units. Lee Miller says she's greatly concerned about how the Madison County Animal Shelter operates. Miller recently completed an open records request that left her with a lot of questions. She says many animals at the shelter were not accounted for in the records. We're just trying to see what's going on, if the records are not correct, if the animals are being put down, if they're getting sick, if we're having illness outbreaks. Deputy Judge Executive Jill Williams says tracking numbers given to dogs may not be consecutive, so missing numbers in a report does not necessarily mean there's a dog that's unaccounted for. And it just means that those numbers were burnt, and we told her we would, you know, we would, we would get dig into our, our IT software system and say, hey, this was a test. It was canceled by this person on this date or whatever. I mean. But I think that's pretty common practice. As the search for answers continues, Dakota Rollins says she hopes to see improvements made to the shelter that is 25% over capacity. The smell of ammonia when you get to the parking lot is enough that it is considered a health crisis, not just for the people, but for the animals. County officials say a new animal shelter is already in the works. The judge executive says all concerns and accusations on the table will be addressed in the next fiscal court meeting. If they're true, that we've done something wrong, we're going to admit we've done something wrong. Um, uh, and I'm very proud of our, of our staff. Uh, it's a struggle in our animal shelter. It always has been, and you know it has been. We've come a long way in 10 years. The next Madison County Fiscal Court meeting is scheduled for September 10th.